Stay at home mums are lazy. Stay at home mums stay in their pyjamas all day. Stay at home mums get to have lions. Stay at home mums do nothing all day but sit and gaze in their baby's eyes. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Samira. I'm a wife, I'm a mum of two, and I post videos on all things motherhood, family, marriage, lifestyle, and occasionally I throw in a few fun challenges and things like that. So thank you for checking out this video. Make sure you go and check out my other videos and I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe. So, today for all my yummy mummies out there, I thought I'd start off the discussion on quite a controversial subject amongst mums and that is the working mum versus the stay at home mum. Now I've been privileged enough or unprivileged depending on how you look at it to experience both being a stay at home mum and being a working mum and in my experience I would definitely say that there's pros and cons to both. Now the reason I say versus is because mums who choose to stay at home after they've had their children feel quite passionate about their decision to do that just as well as mums who decide to go back to work uh, after having their children feel quite strongly about their decision to do that. Now I'm currently a working mum and I've been back to work for about nine months since having my daughter Mia and so my experience of being a stay at home mum is still quite fresh in my head and obviously with being a working mum I have a lot to say about that as well. Now what I've found in my experience as well is that there are some crazy notions about being a stay-at-home mum and being a working mum and so this is going to be a two-part video uh, where I just kind of break down my experience and share my journey so today I'm going to be focusing on the stay-at-home mum and in particular the notion that stay-at-home mums are lazy so I'm just going to get straight into it so there's loads of different reasons why women choose to stay at home after they have their children. Now some women don't have any choice, um, they cannot afford to go back to work simply because you know they don't have a family or friends around that can help with childcare and so they have to pay for childcare and let me tell you that childcare is expensive and you know rightfully so because it's not easy looking after kids but for some women it's just not feasible, it doesn't make sense to eat for them um, to work and have to pay childcare costs because all your pay covers your childcare and then it just ends up not being worth it, it kind of defeats the purpose so because of that they just stay at home and even though it's hard financially they have to stay at home it just doesn't make sense to go back to work and then there's some women who choose to stay at home you know they can afford childcare um, but maybe you know they don't trust another person to look after their child you know no one will look after your child as well as you will in your mind and so you know you do hear stories of things like you know neglect and abuse and so understandably some women just don't feel comfortable to give their children to other people to look after them and then there's some women who choose you know it's not nothing to do with finances or being fearful about childcare but they simply choose to stay at home and sacrifice a certain amount of years of their life to raising their children and that is one thing that my mum did she was she was one of those amazing women so shout out to you mum I think you're amazing me personally you know for, for me and I'm sure any other woman that is working prior to getting pregnant when you do fall pregnant one of the first things you think about is your maternity leave you know are you going to go back to work um, if you do go back to work how long are you going to stay off for etc 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 now for me as a full-time employee I knew that once I had children that I would go back to work I knew that I couldn't be a stay-at-home mum but that I would stay at home with my children for the at least the first year of their lives just because I feel like the first year of a child's life is so special and is so crucial you know in terms of their development and of course every year is special and and you know just as important but for me the first year you know obviously it was a new experience for me as well and so I wanted to be there for all the first I didn't want to miss anything and you know I wanted to be the first one to give Aiden and Mia their first meal to see their first steps to see them first crawl I didn't want to miss anything and I'm so glad that you know I was able to experience those things with both of them because they're memories that I treasure today but yeah I remember that 
I have to be honest, I did have preconceived ideas of what being a stay-at-home mum looked like. I remember, you know, being at work with my massive belly, you know, being a full-time employee, just kind of counting down the days to my maternity and just daydreaming about, you know, being in my robe all day and being my, in my pyjamas all day, just gazing in my baby's eyes and, you know, being snuggled up in bed together, creating this bond. And of course, there were moments like that when I was off on maternity leave, but that is not reality. You know, any, any woman that's a stay-at-home mum will know the day-to-day -day struggles of juggling being a wife or um, being a carer being a new mum it's just a lot but yeah I definitely did have my own preconceived ideas and my own assumptions as to what being a stay-at-home mum looked like and boy was I wrong and so that's why when I hear these notions about stay-at-home mums I just I can't help but think that they are crazy so let's explore some of those notions stay-at-home mums are lazy stay-at-home mums stay in their pajamas all day stay-at-home mums have nothing to do apart from rock a baby stay-at-home mums don't need to be anywhere at any time stay-at-home mums don't have an agenda for the day stay-at-home mums get to have lions stay-at-home mums do nothing all day but sit and gaze in their baby's eyes who told you that <laughs> who told you that because that is the furthest thing from the truth breaking down my experience about the first four to six weeks of Aiden's life he was very he had a lot going on so when he was first born he had um, like a mild form of meningitis and so I was in hospital for 10 days when I had him and that was a lot in itself but then when he came home he also had eczema you know so he would get all these rashes everywhere all, all the cracks of his arms his legs all over his face and then he had a cold and you know when newborns get colds it, it can be quite dangerous it's quite serious so he had eczema he had a cold and then he also had colic and for those of you who don't know what colic is colic is basically like trapped wind that a baby gets in their stomach and obviously they can't burp themselves and you know with feeding it's just something that it doesn't really get better until they kind of grow out of it and so he had that for a while and all of that was just a lot it was a very rough few weeks of life for him for his first few weeks and so I was dealing with all of that trying to make sure that he was comfortable and not in pain and then on top of that I had to deal with things that I was going through mentally like you know fearing if I was doing things wrong you know feeling like I didn't know what I was doing and you know just finding my feet in this new thing called motherhood and dealing with that and trying to tend to my baby 24 7 was very very difficult and I am never the mum that is going to be afraid to say that motherhood is hard work and I feel like I say that in every mummy video because it is you know there's some women that can't relate to it at all but I will always keep it raw and 100 with you guys and say that motherhood is hard it's very very hard and so yeah I I had to quickly realise that all those preconceived notions that I had about being a stay-at-home mum were just not reality, it wasn't realistic. You're never going to have a day where everything is perfect because babies do their own thing. And so yeah, on top of dealing with my own personal mental struggles and then dealing with this new baby that, I, you know, wanted my attention 24-7 was a lot. And then on top of that, I quickly realised that all the responsibilities I had prior to having Aiden were still there. You know, I still had to be a wife, I still had to cook, I still had to clean, just like every other wife and mum out there does. And you know, as women, we I feel like we have a strength that we are not even aware of, you know. We just kind of get on with things and we're, we're just so good at multitasking that it just sometimes we don't even deep how much we're doing how much we're juggling you know with just these two hands that we've got you know juggling trying to keep a clean house changing nappies feeding a baby on demand doing the laundry cleaning the house cooking shopping everything that women do in to keep a household I quickly realised that there wasn't ever a day where my responsibilities were going to get any 
easier or my list was going to get any shorter and so for me that is when the juggle became a struggle just to make something clear being a stay-at-home mum is a job in itself you know you have to attend to this baby 24 7 you have to make sure that your house is kept clean and tidy and that there's food on the table when your husband gets home and that the washing is done and that your baby's taken care of and then you might have five minutes to spare and spend on yourself and you know it's just a lot you know sometimes I remember that it would it would get to like three o'clock I'd look at the time it would be like three o'clock and I hadn't even had breakfast you know then you know when you have a baby you, you put your baby's needs before your own and I would forget to eat genuinely forget to eat at times and if you know me you will know that that is a big deal because I'm a foodie <laughs> but um yeah although everything was a lot you know I just realized that I had to put on my big girl panties roll up my sleeves tie my weave back <laughs> and get on with it you know and so there were days where I was productive and I did get things done and I was able to multitask and with those days I kind of felt like it started to become expected rather than appreciated and I'm not saying that Morgan didn't appreciate me because he would tell me all the time that you know he thought I was doing a great job and that I'm a great mom and I'm doing well and he would always encourage me but I you know was quite hard on myself and I just didn't feel like the world could see how hard I was trying and how how much effort I was putting into fulfilling this new amazing role and so I think what makes being a stay-at-home mum hard as well is the fact that with any other job you do there's always some sort of incentive or you know maybe you get a bonus a pay rise or you get words of affirmation you know you might get shouted out in a meeting or there's always some sort of pat on the back you get and being a stay-at-home mum you don't necessarily get that you know you don't necessarily reap the reward straight away when you've done the washing you know there's no one that's going to come and give you a pat on your back for that because and that's what I mean by expected rather than appreciate because no one's going to give you a pay rise because you wash the dishes no one's going to give you a pay rise because you change your, your baby's nappy the fifth time in a row in an hour like you know it's just something that you have to do you just have to get on with it and so yeah i have to admit that you know i did find it hard when i moved on to my second child and had mia and i was at home with aiden and mia that was a whole nother realm of responsibility and you know trying to take care of a toddler and a newborn at the same time that was so hard so mums that stay at home with more than one child I give you <laughs> high five through the camera because it's not an easy thing to do you know tending to these two little human beings that they don't care if you can't split yourself in two they want you and they want you now and you know that is such a hard thing but in all of those hard moments, those trying moments, those times where I felt overwhelmed and I felt like, oh my gosh, I just had to change my mindset, you know, and I had to think about the fact that I was getting the chance to be with my children 24 seven. And that is such a beautiful thing. You know, when you look at your children, how can you not be grateful you know how can you not be appreciative and I just started to think differently you know I started to really enjoy my days with my children at home whether I was at home or wherever I went out with them I just really started to treasure those times because honestly those are pr such precious moments and you know I remember towards the end of my maternity with both of them I started to dread going back to work and it made me kind of appreciate each day more and more because I knew that this was a very special time these are stages in their life that you're never going to get back so if you're a mum out there who is feeling overwhelmed and who is feeling like being a stay-at-home mum is hard work you're not the only one that feels like that you're not crazy you're not you're not incapable you're not ungrateful it is hard you know but what I would say is something that I've learned in being a mum who's been at home with their children and then going back to work is that honestly the days can feel really long at times but the years are so 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 short like never did I imagine that I would be doing the school run so quickly like I have a four-year-old almost four-year-old who's in school who's got more of a social life than I have <laughs> he's getting party invitations every week and 
it's just crazy like it's actually crazy you know how fast time goes and I would just say cherish every single moment because yes it's hard but it's the most beautiful thing and you may feel like you know a bit down or you may feel like you're not contributing to your household financially but what I would say is yes you may not be contributing financially but you are contributing things to your household that money cannot buy you are contributing your your time your efforts your attention your love and all of those things is keeping your family alive and it's keeping your household alive so be confident in that be confident in you your your decision to stay at home and it's such an amazing thing to do it's such a big sacrifice as well um another thing i would say as well is you know you always feel like the grass is greener on the other side so when i was a stay-at-home mom i used to think oh, i wonder what it would be like to be a working mom because you know obviously being a stay-at-home mom you don't get to clock in and clock out it's 24 hours around the clock that you need to be you know you need to give your child that undivided attention so there are times where you'd feel isolated and you kind of imagine what it will be like to have a break you know and what I would say with that is with anything that you do there's going to be good days and bad days you know when you go to work you're going to have your good days and you're going to have your bad days and it's the same thing with being a stay-at-home mum you know yes it's hard but it's not every single day that is going to be bad there's some mums that you know motherhood is just amazing for them 24 7 and i think it is amazing but they never show that vulnerability because it is it is making yourself a bit vulnerable but it's kind of difficult because it makes women who are struggling feel like they're doing less than let's keep it real it's hard to even take care of yourself sometimes let alone one two three four five children and so i just think that you know you should treasure the moments that you have with your children because trust me when i say there's working mums that are wishing they could be in your position there's working mums that are wishing that they could stay at home for their children even if it's for an extra year so definitely treasure those moments because they're they're moments that you will never ever get back so yeah in summary i would say if there's a day where you don't get to do everything you set out to do that's okay just remember that you're staying at home to raise your children and you know folding the laundry and putting the laundry away doesn't make you a better mum so don't be so heavy on your tasks of course yes it's something that you need to do and you should do it but if all you're able to do in one day is to look after your child attend to their needs make sure that they're taken care of and then have an hour to yourself that's okay like you're gonna have good days you're gonna have bad days don't feel like you have to get everything done and live by a strict routine every single day because you will drive yourself crazy so to address the crazy notions out there stay at home mums are not lazy stay at home mums do not stay in their pajamas all day stay at home mums are probably doing a harder job than you are <laughs> and to close i would just say honestly i'm so glad that i got to experience being there to watch them first crawl first walk to even you know when i had both of them just being there and being present to see their interaction and to see their bond grow was just a beautiful thing that i hold so dearly to my heart now and i wouldn't have been able to experience that if i went back to work straight away and so yes it's challenging yes it's overwhelming at times but i honestly wouldn't trade my hardest day being a mum in exchange for my best day prior to having children it doesn't matter how hard it gets being a mum is the best job that I have ever and will ever do and you know honestly it's, it's, it's such a beautiful experience so stay at home mums you are amazing and keep doing what you're doing if you like this video and have watched it thus far be sure to give me a like and comment and share with me what your experience has been like I would love to know and I hope you enjoyed this video the next video will be out very soon about being a working mum so I hope you stick around to see that. As always, thank you for watching this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye.